Hey Plant Pals, today's plant of the day is Nepenthes Rami Spina by Rob Cantlei. And a quick note, when you hear me say something by something, that indicates it's a hybrid. So Nepenthes Rami Spina is a species and Nepenthes Rob Cantlei is a species. And someone has gone ahead and crossed those two together to make a new plant. And that is Nepenthes Rami Spina by Rob Cantlei. So this is a hybrid I really like. I think it's a really cool one and I'm gonna tell you why right now. So I kind of have an affinity for the goth pitchers, as I call them, which are the dark black pitchers. I love the Nepenthes that are like dark black or have really darkly colored peristomes. And in this case, both of the plants in this cross have that. So when people make hybrids, they often try to uh, enhance a feature, right? So they're gonna go ahead and pick two plants that have something similar, breed them together, and hopefully get like the even best version of that. And that's kind of what they were going for with this. So Nepenthes rami spina is from Malaysia, where it grows, and it is a highland Nepenthes that has a really cool picture. It is very long, kind of a delicate, pinched-in waist, and it's like a dusty black that's really dark and beautiful. And it has a very thin peristome, which is the mouth, and that peristome is like a shiny patent leather that almost looks like a little snake coiled around the mouth. And the best part is that the interior of the picture is like matcha green tea color. And that really highlights the whole black on black look of the plant. And it's a really striking picture. It's a great plant, grows pretty easily, and it tends to grow very bushy, very aggressively. It's a great little plant to grow. And then it's been hybridized with Nepenthes rob cantlei, which is potentially one of the most famous of the plants of the Nepenthes, you've heard of it, I'm sure. Side note, Nepenthes Rob Cantlei by Hamada was one of the first Nepenthes I grew at my house, and seeing what Rob Cantlei brought to that hybrid made me a true fan forever. Not only is the species itself spectacular, but Nepenthes Rob Cantlei brings to every hybrid it's apparent in vigorous growth, huge pictures, and a little bit more ease. And that's another reason that sometimes we hybridize plants. Now, we didn't make this hybrid, Borneo Exotics did, but it was a clever cross. When you combine the genetics of something that is easier to grow with something else, you're gonna add that in oftentimes, right? And you're gonna make it an even funner, easier to grow plant. So Nepenthes rob cantlei actually comes from the Philippines. These plants would never have met at a bar and made a baby. That would never have happened. And I think that's kind of fun because while pure species are something that are really, really worth growing, like if you can have a rob cantlei, you should. It's really fun to see the combinations we can make. They're kind of magical and fun. Like when you were a kid and you used to draw magical creatures that you would make up that were like a unicorn's face with like a dog's butt and like wings. You know, you can make anything up and that's what we're doing as, as a horticulturalist. We get to make these dream plants. So ra ra back to Rob Cantlei. Why is Rob Cantlei amazing? Okay, if you don't know, it is ridiculous. It has huge pictures and they grow huge fast. The leaves are huge and kind of wavy. The pitchers are gigantic. They get gigantic fast too, which sometimes plants that have big pitchers take a long time to make those big pitchers. Rob Cantlei, that plant goes quickly and it can make pitchers as big as two liter soda bottles. They're big and tubby and they grow quite quickly with these peristomes that open and unfurl and they're quite large. The most showy peristomes that almost look like a frilled lizard's collar. And they start out green, sometimes with a little striping, and slowly the whole plant, like a sunset, darkens. It turns from lime green to red to this lovely black, and the whole peristome turns to this shiny red-black color that is just spectacular. It's one of the most famous plants because it is an absolute showstopper. So what the person who made this has done is they have combined two incredibly dark pictures together to heighten that to hopefully make a very dark picture. But they've also done something that I personally love and that's they've taken two wild cards. A peristome that is so thin and shiny and unusually slim, like a little tiny coiled snake, and a peristome that is wide and showy and gigantic like a frilled lizard, and they've met those two things together. And that's a genetic grab bag, grab, grab bag which I think is really fun. So these are the little hybrids we have currently. And of course, the pictures always change with time. You never quite know. You can see on this one, for instance, here is an older picture with a dark peristome, but when they first open, they're this lime green. I can tell you that this plant will get huge fast, so I would not recommend it for terrarium growth. You can put it in a terrarium to start it and give it a good, start, a good jump, but it's gonna outgrow that terrarium rapidly because both of these plants in the wild, while of course they're vines, they tend to grow kind of a bushy scrambling style. They're gonna grow quickly. So I would think this is gonna be best for a hanging window basket or if you're going to put it in a big 
big pot on the floor, you're probably gonna wanna trellis it. It's great for a greenhouse. Uh, most Highland Nepenthes aren't gonna do well outdoors because they don't like an environment where they're gonna get really cold. Anything under 50 degrees is generally very, very bad for them. And they don't even really love a lot of heat waves. So they're not gonna be like wild about 100 degrees. So that's why they make great house plants. They appreciate humidity. They'll do better if you can increase the humidity and definitely put Osmocote slow release fertilizer pellets into these pitchers with a little distilled water and you're gonna see great growth. You can also apply diluted maxi fertilizer to the leaves and you'll see, again, this is gonna be a crazy beast of a hybrid. It's gonna go fast, it's gonna grow big and you're gonna love it. So if you grow this plant already, tell me how much you like it or what you like about it. I wanna see pictures too. So definitely tag us in them on Instagram because I always love seeing that and tell me what you think about it. All right, happy growing.